Yo, what's the word? It's your boy G Stacks, man. On the spot, man. We got the homie C Hood in the building today, man. What up, what up, what up? You, see, you see, you see what's on his shirt, man. Shit, so, shit. yeah, it's, it's a KZ thing. You know what I'm saying? Always, KZ man. thing, man. What's going on, my chilling, guy? Chilling, my nigga. That's what's good, man. Oh, How you shit. doing? How you doing, bro? Just chilling, my nigga. Living life, working hard, staying focused, blessed up. You know what I'm saying? Right. Always, right, right. Always. Where you from, my boy? From Jersey City, New Jersey, man, but I'm right here in Goldsboro, North Carolina, That's man. I've been to here for years, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got a little homies, homies from Jersey and shit, You know what man. I'm saying? But yeah, now I've been here for really? a couple years. It's all right down here. I love it down here. I love everybody. I love the vibes. A little slower, right? But yeah, Southern hospitality is way better than anything, man. I take that over anything, man. Okay, okay. For real. Okay, so um, how long you been doing this rap thing, man? Shit, man. I've been doing this shit over, I got 20 years in this shit, for real. For real? About 20 years in this shit. Oh, okay. So you, you know what I mean? Yes. I've been doing this shit for a little minute. You've been around the bushes a couple of times. Yeah, man, I love this shit, bro. Word. I've been doing this shit for a while, man. That's what's up, that's what's up, man. Um, So, uh, like, what what kind of uh, work you got out right now? Like, what's going on with well, shit, man? I'm working on some shit right now. Me and my brother, Fetty Stacks, man, we're working on a joint album and shit together. But you know what I'm saying? We... Push that shit back to focus on ourselves for right. a minute, cause Black Dogs feel like you know, he feel like we better on some solo dolo shit. So right, right, right. I've been focusing on my shit, man. I'm trying to bring out of some shit, man. Basically, my first little mixtape. I ain't never dropped nothing. I've been doing music for twenty years and never had a mixtape, nigga. Oh word. Never had a mixtape, nigga. I just had songs. So what you just putting songs. I out? just put these shits out, man. But you never, you know what I mean? It's the it's it's niggas you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? It's like right. you gotta have that team behind you that's willing to work and help you. You know what I'm saying? But when you do that shit, me. starting that shit from the bottom, doing that shit independently, right, right, right. it's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? You paying studio time here. Niggas got to put that shit together for you. You ain't got none of that shit. You ain't got the real quality, nobody like mixing, mastering your shit. You know what I'm saying? Was it a struggle, like getting in the studio and shit like that? Or you always had access? I mean, anytime, I feel like any, when anytime I ever recorded anybody's studio, they never charged me because they always knew how hot I was. You know, I never paid for studio time right, right, right. ever in my fucking life because of how I put it in my music. Right. And niggas always try to give me a chance, but they was never like, you know, not saying everybody. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But just some, as a younger dude, one nigga, I was a rapper, my nigga. I'm from the streets. I rapped about what I saw at 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? Facts, Nigga, facts. nigga want to put me in the studio, tell me to go rap, but he want me to rap about buying girls ice cream and shit like that. I ain't want to do that <laughs> shit. The fuck I look like? I ain't that type of nigga. I'm selling dope. Right, right, right. What you talking about? What you talking about? Bible, girl, ice cream, nigga, I'm hustling. Right. Talking about that shit. Facts, though. So, uh, coming up, you know what I mean, through the uh, young years, you know what I'm saying, who was, like, your major influences, like, you I know mean, what I'm saying, as far as, like, hip-hop went? Outside of my brothers, man, I listened to everything. So, coming up, man, it was commercially... I listen. I looked at BET a lot, so you see a lot of right. that commercial music and shit. So, variety. Yes, a variety of niggas, but right. DMX was always that dude, X bro. That guy. X, X is my favorite rapper of all guy. time. He the only nigga I felt like to stick with Jay Z, and I'm a storyteller. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, I tell yeah. a story right now. And other than Biggie, outside of Biggie, man, him, if, if DMX right here, Biggie scratching the surface, man. You know it's saying? like, yeah. So. I, those are my favorite two right there, but other than my brothers and shit, them definitely the two niggas that I thought was like nobody could. And they was in ton touch of me. Okay, uh, like that's definitely. Was there like? Cause I know a couple of times, you know, coming up through the years, you know, I got discouraged. So was there ever like a time where you like, man, fuck this rap shit, man? Yeah, man. I'm back in like done with this shit, man. <laughs> I put a song. I remember like 2006. I was like 16, 17. 17. Me and my brother put a song out of mm -hmm. that touch it, touch it, bro. We put a song out of shit. Oh, okay, my okay, first okay. song, that, that shit. yeah, the, yeah, the, the busted shit. Yeah. That, yo, the first time we ever had a song that popped in my city, because in my city in Jersey was all about music. You had DJs, you had dancers, you had everything yeah. going on around the city, right. and it was so many local rappers. Man, I've been rapping in that city from 2002 to 2006. I ain't never been heard until 2006, nigga. Oh, and then when that shit came okay. out, and after that, it was like. I couldn't find another hit, bro. I couldn't find another one, bro. Nobody would fuck with me no more after that song. I couldn't follow it up. What? And then I fell back from like 2007. I stopped rapping. I stopped rapping 2007. I ain't start rapping no more to 2015. So what was it like? You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't find the right vibe? I don't know what it was. It was like, the bars? This is 2007. Right? We're talking 2007. Right, 
Right. The so South was coming. The South was coming then. Right. Right. Lean with it. Rock with it. Okay. Snap your fingers. All the bubble step. gum. Rap All that in. that bullshit was Bold coming in. Wayne. Gum. Wayne was taking over the mixtape mm -hmm. game. So when I came in and I did my little shit and it was like. I was basically rapping over all these beats that was coming out. And at that time, all the hardest beats was the motherfucking beats that was coming out from the South. Facts. And I couldn't get it at the time. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't that. I was young. I wasn't versatile. I was just, I was one way with this music shit. I was one way. All I knew was battle rapping and talking about killing niggas and goddamn hustling and shit like that. I was one track mind. You was one track mind. So I fell back from 2007 to 2015. I was a long ass time. That's when I started having kids. Right. Started, I mean, I freestyled with a nigga in the cypher right then and there, you know, so I was still writing. I was, you know what I'm saying? And, but my my, my shot came right. in 2015. Right. That's when I blew the fuck up with this music shit and everybody started knowing who the fuck I was. Right, right, right. So, um, like you said, you from Jersey, right? So, when you touched down in Goldsboro, who was the first artist that really, like, extended their welcome to you? Like, come Yo, on, man, let's do some music. Like, come fuck with me. The first... This real shit, my nigga. Cross track KB. That's my fucking world, bro. KB. KB. Shout out Cross track KB, KB, bro. Man. That nigga played me and shit when I first came. Down. I used to come. To, I used to come. To, my brother lived here for like ten years before I even moved here. You feel me? So right. when I came here in 2017, I met KB through a mutual friend and shit, and he. Started playing me his little shit and his little red little shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Started playing me his music. Like, yo, what studio at around here? Because I was just coming from Jersey over my little buzz I got up there, and I was trying to bring it here. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he started playing me that shit. And he always extended welcome to me. Like, yo, I know the nigga, you know what I'm saying? He never, he wasn't the type of nigga that was like, you know, fuck, nah, bro. I'm, I'm going to try to do this shit on my own. Right, right, and He right. never like, oh, yo, I'm about to charge this nigga for a feature type shit. Facts, facts, or none of that facts. shit. So I was like, you know, I fuck with Cross Track KB. Stack Sosa always been my nigga. First nigga to ever put me in the studio right, in my whole right, right. fucking life. Big shout out. First time I ever stepped in the booth was because of Stack Sosa. Big shout out. You know Stack, what I'm saying? Man, shout, shout out, out Stack. Man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know the So vibes. yeah, man. You know, I know a lot of niggas down here and I've been around for a while, but you know, I've been back and forth. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Running up and down I-95 and shit. So is there um like a place they can find you on social media? What's your social yeah, media man. platform? Tell the people what's your social I mean, media. You can find man. me under Instagram. Chef underscore hood, you know what I'm saying? Uh, my fucking Facebook, Chrissy Hood Carter. They got 5,000 friends already, so I got to make a new page or some shit because I can't get no friend requests. And um, yeah, man, shit, I don't do that Twitter shit. I don't do none of that shit. You yeah. find me on YouTube under Chrissy Hood Carter or under KZ Entertainment. Tap in. Most of my shit going to be at KZ Entertainment. Follow the page, Tap man. Tap in, man. Anything you want to know about me, hit up motherfucking Black Dawn, man. The manager, you Tap heard? Man. So, if if you had to choose right now, one producer to lock in on your mixtape, who would that be and why? That's in the game. That's right, in the game. In the game right, right now. now. One producer right now. Yo, um, shit, yo, it's yeah. so many hard. Yeah, yo. yeah. But I always and and I'm gonna say this shit, and I'm not trying to be. Saying that because I'm a, I'm old school with it, or I'm trying to be biased and nothing. I ain't got nothing against none of you new school motherfucking producers, but right. I always wanted Swiss beats. That nigga dope. Swizzy, hey, and that's Dre, a dope motherfucking. Swizzy and Dre, the top five, top five dead or alive producers ever, man. I agree. I and agree. I had to, I wanted one or the other. I, I agree. And I agree. If we talk about, I want them niggas to do an album. You talking dope. about mixtape shit? That's dope. Man. You talking about mix mixtape shit? Mm -hmm. That nigga Metro Boomin. Y'all niggas, be, they be doing, he doing this shit, yeah. all that for that for down here. Now, cause I'm more versatile with my rap shit. Now I ain't on that one track mind shit no more. So right, right, I right. can do it all. Right. So I'm pretty sure you done track with quite a few people. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know you probably been on tracks with uh, some of everybody. Yeah. So, um, were you rapping in Jersey too? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So that's okay, where, that's where the music started. That's where my, my life started. At. Okay, so boom. This is this gonna lead to this question being perfect then. Alright. Which C Hood do you like the best? You like the Jersey C Hood? Or you like the C Hood that came out here and got kind of Yo, Carolina. I love the Carolina C Hood, yo. On that music Where? shit, that <laughs> rap shit, look, Carolina C Hood stepped this fucking game up cause right. I feel like more now I, it's not 
trying to keep up with niggas, but you got to keep up with this rap shit. You can't, like I said, you can't have a one-track mind in this right. rap shit, bro. Right, right. You can't. Right. You got to be versatile, and you got to show that you can stick with these young niggas. Like, I'm only 32 years old, but I feel like I've been in this shit for forever, my nigga. I done right. did more than you can fucking never know right. before I even turn 18, bro. So, so yo, what you get, so what you like, you you feel like you get pushed harder out here, or? Yeah, you, you can move your music much more better in the South than Why is you that? do a Jersey. I feel like cause more niggas in Jersey is more like, you got niggas down here that's awesome. They all for self. Like, y'all, nah, nigga, I'm working on myself. This is my shit. I'm trying to do this shit for me. Right. But then you got them niggas that's going to be like, yo, extend the olive branch, my nigga, like here, my nigga. Uh -huh. You got them. Right. Nigga, Black Dawn extended the olive branch, nigga. Facts. I had niggas in Jersey that extended the olive branch to me, too, but them my niggas from day one. They started this shit from the gun, and I right. fucked with them niggas because they gave me that chance to come back out in 2015. So out of Jersey, you couldn't just go. It was yeah, but anymore. it wasn't that. It was more like niggas was always like they had teams. It was so they was already you, yeah. You was like you locked in. like with KZ Entertainment. You had niggas that was like yo, they had their own teams. Nigga, you got Flatline. You got these niggas over there doing their thing. Right, got, we right. block time entertainment. Right. But everybody was trying to do their own thing. Nah, bro, we working on Flatline. Unless you want to be with Flatline, we ain't working together. Right, right. All right, right unless right, you ain't right. trying to be with us, we ain't working together. I feel Mouda you. Mouda did a song with motherfucking Bigger Pun last week. He from Oland. That's my man. Right. I did a right. song with Mouda. Shout out, I'm on his mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Go cop that shit 420. This right. shit called Mood. Okay. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Okay. But yeah. I fuck with goddamn Bigger. You know what I'm saying? Bigger gave me the opportunity to get on his mixtape. We came and laid some shit down. Right. You know what I mean? So I do it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That, I'm, you want me to work? I'm working. That's a bit. That's you a bit. Me? All right. So, out of all the artists in the game that's living right now, who would you do a song with right now? Like, I want the locks. You, you want the whole lot? The locks, bro. Hey, I'm D Block. That's bro. my guy. Hey, look, my name's C. That's my guy right here. You hear me? I'm D Block. I'm D Block all day, I'm bitch. D -block, bro. The hell wrong with y'all, man? Yeah, Take this. Nah, Z, she, Luch, nigga. Fuck J Hood, nigga. <laughs> I was the new J Hood. That's what my nigga C Hood, nigga. Team all this loud. Well, you wrong with all that shit. shit you know the shit, nigga. You know what? Okay, come, come on, on man. man. I don't uh -huh. own that shit. Uh, okay, nigga. you in your shit. Oh, you already you know the vibes. Team all this. You know you a bully and a boy strong. Stop playing with me, man. All right. So, since you were up top, dude. Who was the hardest artist in G Unit back in the day? Banks. Banks by far? By far. Lil Banks in 50 was nobody. Buck was Buck for the Southern, for the southern motherfuckers right. in the South. Yeah. And Buck always ended he the song. And Buck always ended the song too, because Buck always had the hardest verse. He always left you with a memorable line. Yeah. He, he left yeah. you with a memorable line. Buck definitely gonna leave he you with something. He always leave you with a memorable line. He gonna line. leave you with something. He always leave you with some shit. But Banks gonna always have you on the edge of your seat. We're talking about punchlining. Right. Kicking that shit. Right. And I'm talking about, nigga, if you listen to Banks freestyles, listen to Banks freestyle, listen to 50 freestyle, Buck freestyle, fuck Tony Ayo, because <laughs> that nigga ain't really about that. <laughs> I, I fuck with Tony Ayo, though. But, but yeah, Ayo had some shit, too. But look, Banks, my nigga, by far. Banks, by far. His man. album was fucking... Nah, nah, you can't skip that shit, bro. Hunger for More was the classicest album I ever fucking heard. Bro. Right, that shit. That was one of the most classic albums man, that, that ever came out. Fire! I was on that bitch. Yes, sir. I was on that bitch. I was on that shit, man. Yeah. Like, Styles' first album, man. Gangsta right. Gentleman. Right. Like, my right. nigga too. Right. He's my favorite out of the whole locks. That's my favorite. That's hey. Styles P. Styles P. Shout Jada. out to Ghost, man. And I fuck with Jada. And Jada, my uh, yeah, that's uh, my uh, favorite uh, rapper uh, right now. Like a lot, yeah, period. But, a lot, a lot, period. That's right now, man. that's my favorite rapper. Jade is my favorite. See, you go look on my Facebook now. I got pictures of all three of them niggas, man. Call, oh, word up, the niggas at some Hey, that's man. big love, man. Niggas, that's man. big love, man. So, man, like, uh, at the end of the day, man, like, uh, you got some mixtapes getting ready to drop. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to drop this shit. Man. I'm trying to drop the mixtape, but it's the thing. Well, I'm trying to drop the shit that I've been. I've been trying to drop the same mixtape. Uh, oh, what's going on, little hey, push back? No, nah, I was. Like, I was working on the mixtape mm -hmm. in Jersey. This shit, about six years ago, I had two songs off the mixtape that never that was only pushed. But I had 12 songs in that motherfucker. Right, right. All right, 12 songs, nigga, that never got pushed. I don't know. So you want to write stream? I'm on the right track right now. Team now so you I came down this motherfucker. My whole mixtape is recorded over. 
Oh word! Right. Yeah, I redone it. my whole redone my whole. You mistake. revamped it, or is I it's... redone my whole shit. I recorded okay. word for word in this booth, and it's gonna be some fire. I promise y'all, nigga. I'm coming different. The shit called Rated R. Rated it's R. A fucking movie, nigga. I'm a storyteller, and y'all telling y'all, nigga, sit back and enjoy this shit, my nigga. So I'm coming. Who you who you working with on this? Me, Fetty Stacks, Black Dawn, KZ Family. Um, I ain't really put nobody on the mix. I mean, real talk, man. The mixtape probably got like nine songs on there, just me. Uh, just straight to the just head. Straight man. to the head. No mean, no feature. Cause it's really like your introduction. It's, right? my, it's my introduction, and then fucking my introduction to this shit. Cause I feel like nobody know me. You feel me? I feel right. like I never right. been heard. Right. Like I did shows after shows. I did on radio interviews. I did it all, my nigga. But I feel yeah. like I ain't never been heard, my nigga. So that's bullshit. I got damn yeah, nigga. It's that's my some time. Bullshit. I ain't saying, I mean, y'all judge it, man. I ain't no whack ass rapper, nigga. <laughs> Yo, man. Sorry, buddy, man. That's no what it is. That's what it is. You ain't no whack ass rapper like some of you motherfuckers, man. Don't be in your feelings, though. But anyway, look, man. You're on the spot with your boy G Stacks, man. We got the boy C Hood in here, man. We about to put that boy in the hot seat. You hear me, man? Hot seat questions, man. Let's get Ready it. for that? Let's get it. All right, man. Let's get it, man. Who's your favorite? New York rapper. Shit. Dead or alive. Alive. Dead. It don't matter. X. 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 My favorite he New said York that. rapper. He definitely said that. My early. favorite well, New York rapper. Is alive then. Is my favorite New York rapper that's alive. Alive. That's doing their motherfucking Jada, man. Jada. Right now, alive. Jada that's, Kiss. That's, that's stepped fair. his fucking game up. I fuck with the locks. I fuck with Styles P. Right. I fuck with them boys. I fuck with the new niggas in the game. I fuck with Davies. Right, right, I fuck with them boys, man. A right. Boogie, you know what I'm saying? East, you know, I fuck with East. You know what I'm saying? Dave East and them boys, yeah, is definitely holding East. it down from New York. Yeah, I fuck, and I with, fuck with um Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder, a fool, man. Hey, look, man, Uncle Murder. Regardless of that shit, he be talking. That nigga can rap. Yeah, that bitch can rap. That motherfucker can rap, rap, nigga. <laughs> that that nigga rap. can spit. All right, so Hell yeah. I fuck Hell with yeah. Uncle Murder. That nigga definitely got bars. All right, moving on to the next one, man. Not putting them against each other or nothing, man. But who would you prefer to listen to in a car ride? You got five hour car ride. Fat Joe or Big Pun? Everybody know Joe Stone po stole Pun Round Book, man. <laughs> We know we know Joe stole pun round book, nigga. So you gonna be getting pun. We got pun, the nigga. Whole time. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> nigga, men and women, literally, nigga. Fuck, nigga. We fucking around with pun, nigga. Hell yeah, of course. Fucking dig it. There's no what's love. Nah, nigga, I ain't with that, that Joe shit, nigga. Fuck yeah, that you shit. ain't with nah. none of it. Nah, I fuck with Joe though. Joe uh, had hits. Yeah, Joe, Joe had hits. hits. I fuck with Joe for yeah. over pun. Nah, nah, I'm a gutter nah, nigga, yeah, bro. I'm from them gutter nigga. Yeah, go ahead. Capone gonna come. Yes, sir. Uh, that nigga from he, uh, his every first, track. His first and two albums, nigga. Him and Biggie, the greatest they ever, greatest of all time, nigga, with two albums, bro. Oh yeah, that's big. Biggie yeah. and Pun only had and two they albums. Both got big in their name. They only got two albums, bro. They both top ten all time. For real, the, so the that two bigs, crazy. man. The two bigs, man. R.I.P. them guys, For man. Real nigga. Next hot seat question, man. Little Kim. Or Nicki Minaj. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> hey, look, cuz. Look, my nigga. Hey, look. I ain't even trying to be on it because I'm from the city. Right. Because right? they both from up there. Right. Nicki got a hard ass mixtape that first. When she first came out, right. her mixtape game was fucking crazy and she could spit. Fact. But Notorious KIM, my nigga. That was something different. That was Biggie. Right. That was Biggie reincarnated. Right. After that nigga died. That was him reincarnated. So if you wanted to hear Biggie song that was, like after he died, listen to Notorious K.I.M. album, hardcore album, nigga. Hardcore. I promise you, my nigga. Yes. She was bringing that shit. On God. She was bringing that shit. He, he is not. You wasn't lying. fucking with Kim. She ain't had that much longevity. Right. But you couldn't you couldn't fuck with her, bro. Right. Not not lyrically, not no female, not not even Foxy at the time. So little Kim. And she was bringing in. That was the female Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I, I, yeah. even though I rocks with Nicki heavy, cause the motherfucker can spit. She can rap. She can motherfucker rap. can rap. I won't take nothing away from. But you can't take nothing from Kim either. Cause Kim, Kim doing it by herself now. She still got bars. And I, I fuck with Kim, bro. Right. It was different, bro. She really right. spit that shit, bro. All right, moving along. Next question: Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan? Shit. 
Damn, you just said LeBron. I just said Mike Schultz. Right. Wow. Yo. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't go. Shit, bro. You got, hey, man. That's Jordan, bro. Jordan? Jordan yeah, all day? No, not, not all day. Not all day, but just if you had to choose. If I had to choose. Okay. I can the person that. that I wanted to win the championship with. Right. It was going to be Michael Jordan because he gave me a better chance of winning. Right. Kobe lost in the finals before. Jordan, yeah. Jordan, Jordan never lost, lost in the, the final. That's fair enough. So if you give me a chance That's to win the championship, because I'm all about winning. Right. I gotta go with the winning team, bro. That's it. That's why I feel. That's fair bro. enough, man. I ain't <laughs> mad at that. I ain't yeah, mad at that. Like, the way you put it, I ain't you mad at that. If you get a better chance of winning the ring, I gotta go with Jordan. Facts. Facts. Last hot seat question, man. Which mogul had the biggest influence on that group all time? You feel like, like who did the best? When they branched out and got their own label and put on their people, like who you feel like did the best? Like who? I got, I got, I got to give it to Slim and Baby, man, because for the simple fact of where they come from and how the, it wasn't no, all these niggas now they living off this internet money, bro. You yep. wasn't making no internet money back in the nineties, bro. That right, shit wasn't right, that right. easy to move music back in the nineties, my nigga. Facts. Okay, Facts. so for them niggas to come from where they come from and be where they at now. It's them niggas all day, Master P and them niggas too. You can't take that because them you niggas all came from the same right. fucking, you know what I'm saying? Pedigree was yeah, the same. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Jermaine Dupri and the motherfuckers was still finding talent and putting out dope-ass music right. and selling dope-ass music right. to get the money that they had to become who the fuck they is right now. Today. Right. Nowadays, you right. can just get a one bum-ass song and put the shit on YouTube, get a million fucking views, and you getting 60,000 and some shit like that. So you ain't feeling so, giddy, huh? No, I mean, I fuck with Bad Boy, nigga. Yeah, of course. Bad I boy was the fucking. I ain't a Diddy fan. Like I, I ain't a Diddy fan. I'm a bad boy fan. Okay, 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 I'm okay. I'm the fan. I fuck with the family. Okay, okay. I bit the that that they came from nothing to something. Okay, now my nigga, I don't know the whole conspiracy shit with the Biggie shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that man was definitely goddamn. He had something into when Biggie died. He knew how to goddamn stay alive by finding Mace, and he found Mace and Mace. He stayed alive with Mace. Yeah, yeah. And then he had to go yeah, find sure something did. else. And then he went and found Loom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, then he had to find something. He find yeah. something to keep himself elevated. He was putting out fucking... And he was putting out hits. Yes, sir. Yeah, you man. All you know what I'm saying? So he was putting out hits. So man. I mean, the nigga fucking kept a way to stay alive in this music game, facts, my nigga. Man. Definitely, nigga. Man, facts, man. That shit crazy. It's been love, man. This is the motherfucking on the spot interview with the homie C. Hood, man. I appreciate you, man. You already know, man. Fuck with me, my nigga. Man, I'm y'all fuck with the man. Tap in with him, man. He got something coming out soon for y'all, yeah, too, man. Nigga, remember that shit. Rate it all, nigga. I'm gonna holler at y'all boys, man. Fuck out of here, nigga.